How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in this video I'm going to teach you how to play I Can't Tell You Why as recorded by the Eagles on guitar. Now in this lesson I'm going to break down a main rhythm guitar part through the entire song so I'm going to show you all the chords and shapes that I would play from top to bottom starting off with that intro groove that the keyboard plays and I'll show you how I've taken these keyboard parts and even a little bit of the bass part and arranged it for guitar. Now I'm also gonna post another lesson where I detail out the guitar solo note for note, so stay tuned for that, but this video is gonna be all about the rhythm. Before we dive into it, I wanna hook you up with a gift though right away at the first link down below. I've got a free tab sample pack that goes along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. So if you get value out of just watching my videos, you're gonna get so much more out of being able to follow along with the handouts you can get at the first link down below. All right, well with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play I Can't Tell You Why as recorded by the Eagles on guitar. Now we're gonna start with the intro and we've got a keyboard groove up front that I've taken and arranged for guitar. Here's what it sounds like. Three, four. <laughs> So we're starting out on a B minor chord here in second position. And we're gonna play the bass note, one, two, and then we're gonna play the rest of the chord on beat three. We're gonna go three and, so one, two, and three and. We'll play those a little staccato. So just kind of release the pressure there with our fretting hand. Then we'll go to an A over B. And that's just one finger there, getting the A triad with the B in the bass. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Then there is a little bass part that goes, you know, on bass guitar. So if I was playing this just by myself, I like to sometimes incorporate the bass line into what I'm doing. So you could do that little bass line there and go three and four and. So that's two on the fifth string, then jump up to the sixth string, play the second fret there, and then restart back to the top. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Okay, now for a more advanced way, you could also hybrid pick that triad there, the B minor going to the A, you could put your pick on the fourth string, index, or a middle finger on the third string rather, and then ring finger on the second string. So see that, that I'm getting all the strings to ring at the same time. So one, two, and. that four times then we go to the verse and for the verse we're gonna play this We've got a little eight bar progression here. Now there, these are, are some more advanced chord shapes here. So take your time with these. This is a D major seven. Five, seven, six, seven. And then I'm going to a G major seven with the third fret here on the low E. So three, then skip over the fifth string and play. Four, four, three muting the fifth and the first strings. So we'll play two bars of D major seven. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, then go to G major seven, two bars. Then we do basically the same thing again. One, two, three, go to G. One, two. The second time though, we're gonna go have this little variation. So in the last bar, I'm playing an F sharp seven sus four. 
So that's two, four, two, four, two, two. And then I take that pinky off and go down here with my middle finger on the third fret of the third string. So one and two and, and it's syncopated. So that means we're strumming this here on the downbeat. One and two and and then that on the and of two. One and two and three. So the last four bars go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, G major seven, then one and two and three and four and. Okay, then we hit the B section. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this. Now the lyric cue here is every time I walk away, here's what it sounds like. Then we're back to the verse. So we've got another progression here starting on the B minor this time. One, two, three, four, then going to A over B, like our intro, right? Two, three, four, then G major seven, then F sharp seven sus four to F sharp seven, again with that syncopation. One and two and three and four and. Then we repeat the first three bars again. One, two, three, four, A over B. Now this time we'll go and have this little walking line here, this little bass line. Two, four, five, that's on the fifth string. Then two on the fourth string. Then go to G major seven. So coming off that B minor, one, two, three, four, A over B. Two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and, okay. Another change here, G major seven goes to F sharp minor seven in the last two bars. So one and two and three and four and two. Then we go back to the verse and do everything again. Now you'll see in the handout that there is a second ending. So if I start from the second ending, so we're gonna repeat everything again, then take the second ending. Here we're gonna go A over B, one, two, three, Four, then G major seven. All right, and then this is a little re-intro. So basically what I played was A over B for a bar, then G major seven for a bar. Then this little lick, again, the, the seven sus four to the seven, then G major seven for a bar, then F sharp minor seven. Now in this last bar here, we go back to a reintro and we play this little. And that's just a little bass line there. Two, four, five, two, just like we did before, but this time returning back to the intro. Then we do that lick again. Then we go into the guitar solo. And for the guitar solo, we just go back to the verse chord progression. Then after the guitar solo, we have the last B section. And you'll see this on the bottom of page two of the handout. Here we go, B minor, A over B, G major seven, the lick again, B minor, A over B, then G major seven, again, the lick. Then we end with this, G major seven, F sharp minor seven. We just vamp those two chords. And that's how it ends, it just fades out on those two chords. A bar of G major seven, and a bar of F sharp minor seven. Congrats on making it through this song. This is definitely more of an advanced song, a lot of 
tricky chords and syncopated rhythms. So take it slow and make sure to rewind the video and go over any parts that are unclear. Before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna make learning from my YouTube lessons so much more effective and easier to follow because you'll have handouts that you can download and print out and practice with. As always, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Also leave any song requests that you'd like to see here on the channel down below as well. And if you're interested in diving deeper with guitar, check out my website, johnmclennan.com. I've got a lot of great resources on there as well. Thanks for your support here on the channel and we'll see you in another video real soon. Mm -hmm.